Hey guys, welcome to the page. I'm Ken Smith, as you know, and today we're going to take uh, my recently installed luggage rack. We're going to do some modifications to it just to have a little bit of fun. Um, as you guys may or may not know, this is my daily driver. It's a 1930 Model A Town Sedan, early 1930 with uh, eyebrow fenders. And uh, but it's it's a daily driver. It's uh, it's got a much older restoration done on it, and uh, I just have fun with the car. And so today we're going to have a little fun with the luggage rack. Um, I putz around uh, downtown here quite a bit, and uh, it's my daily driver. Um, I take it out whenever I can, and uh, so it's not a show car. And what I might do to the luggage rack may or may not be show car. That's okay. Please don't be a keyboard warrior and. Uh, Go. That's not period correct. Um, I know it, and that's okay with it. Yeah, you know, it's my car, so I have fun with it. And you, you can have a car and have fun with it too. Uh, my goal with any of my videos is if, uh, if you're interested in getting a Model A, you can have fun with it. And, uh, uh, and, and I hope that that's what you do. Anyhow, remember to like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. Most of all, be blessed. When I looked on uh, eBay and some other uh, uh, some other online places that sells uh, uh, vintage antifreeze cans, um, I was a little uh, set back on the price. I really didn't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I found a plain label, one gallon uh, can. And... Um, Took some uh, photos that I that I that I did, and um, sent them to um, an individual on Etsy who did vinyl uh, stickers. So these are kind of weather resistant, waterproof, if you will, um, vinyl stickers. Now uh, they don't quite cover the can, as you can kind of see here. They don't quite cover the can. And obviously the white doesn't need to be on there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off that white. We're going to go ahead and apply these self-adhesive stickers. Uh, there's two actually in this package, one for either side. And then for the, or for the front and back, I should say. And then for each side will be this. So one side will have this, uh, uh, this half on. The other side will have this half on. And again, just vinyl stickers. We're going to go ahead and and uh, trim off the white. I put that black border in there just to give me a, a reference point when I attach the, the two of these together in Photoshop. And um, uh, so, um, again, photographing can, a, a can wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do, in, uh, an original can. And I had to do a lot of post-production to just try to kind of clean this all up. Um, it's not perfect, but again... Neither is my car. It's not a show car. I don't ever intend for it to be a show car. Um, I'm so stinking old right now that all I want to do is just drive the car and have a little fun with it. And it gives me something to do. So uh, ho hopefully this uh, gives you uh, some ideas of maybe something that you can do if you're at a car show or something like that. And you just want to set some period things around your car or, or maybe do a photo shoot and make it look like you're doing some period uh, correct stuff or close enough. Okay. Uh, again, please don't uh, don't be a rivet counter and a keyboard warrior, and um, you know do all that that stuff in the comments. I'm always open to good comments, though. Um, so just just so you know. And then uh, also got uh, some stickers here uh, that we're going to put on the sides of the luggage. So uh, stay tuned. So here's a uh, here's what the finished product looks like. Um, again, you know, the, like I said, the labels probably should have gone all the way around the can. It's not perfect, um, but sitting on the back side of the luggage rack as you're speeding by 40 miles an hour, I don't think most people are going to notice. Um, and even if it's uh, like you're doing a car show or... or uh, if you're doing, um, you know, a cars and coffee type of thing, it's, it's a cool conversation piece. It looks kind of neat sitting by the by the car. Most people, uh, I'm not talking about rivet counters now. Most of your common folk, they'll go by and they'll just say, oh, that's kind of cool. 
And so, uh, so that's the first edition. Now, what I did, the stickers peel off really easy. Um, and uh, if you want to use like what I did, I used this as a squeegee, just kind of laid out and worked out most of the air bubbles, just kind of as I laid the sticker down. The stickers actually peel off the can. And here is, um, they give you a chance, you know, so if you make a mistake, um, I didn't film me putting it on and kind of wish I did, but to give you an example, okay, you make a mistake, you got a little bit of forgiveness time and I just kind of work it around just like that. Down it goes. Eventually, you know, she'll stick. I probably peeled that with my nail and kind of marred it up a little bit but hey that adds a little bit of character anyway so anyhow that's kind of how the stickers go on um and uh we're gonna get those on some of the um luggage out there next kind of some travel stickers they're a little bit on the small size i kind of wish they were a little bit bigger um they're not but the price was right when i found them on etsy uh, I think they were like four or five bucks shipped to me. Uh, so we'll put a couple of them on, maybe just on the sides, maybe on the top. Uh, the luggage was uh, cheap enough, and it's been weathered up, so it's not collectible luggage or anything like that. But it looks good on the car. Uh, it's leather luggage, so we'll start there next. So here are the stickers kind of laid out. Again, they're only, you know, I kind of put my thumb, thumb there, or give you an idea. They're not very, they're not very big, probably two, three inches. Um, most of the stickers, uh, they kind of look, uh, uh, look kind of sort of to the period. These ones for sure don't. So they get the thumbs down. The rest of these, I think we'll just go ahead and use, um, again, these are vinyl stickers, so they, uh, they should hold up in the weather. Um, they should peel off if they get kind of crummy. Uh, they're supposed to be water resistant. I don't know, but for six bucks, I, I was fine with it. And so we're going to throw some of them on and see how that kind of spruces up the luggage. So this is kind of the finished product. Um, there's our can that we just put on here. Uh, put the stickers on. You see, we put the stickers um, on our top suitcase. Now, the reason why I put them on a top suitcase only, oh, by the way, yes, I entered a gas can right there. Um, actually holds gas. It wasn't rusty on the inside, which was kind of nice. Nice little addition. Is it a 1930 gas can? No. Do I care? No. And uh, But it looks vintage, and it looks cool, and that's all I care about. Uh, but anyhow, getting back to the stickers. I added stickers only to the top suitcase. The major reason for that is, believe it or not, this suitcase has no stickers on it, and it's actually in better shape than this suitcase. You can kind of see up here, you know, obviously it's creased and, and whatnot. It's kind of beat up pretty bad. Uh, I also wanted to keep a plain suitcase um, because, as you know, I'm, I'm a photographer, and I do uh, reenactments and stuff like that. So I wanted one suitcase reserved for stickers, one suitcase not. And uh, I think it looks pretty good that way. Uh, you can certainly uh, put something down in the comments below. And uh, I'm always interested in hearing what you have to think. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what are you going to tie the cans down with? To be honest with you, I don't know yet. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. Um, I can get these. I bought these on eBay. These are actually um, stirrup straps for a saddle. And they, the, the person who sells these, I'll put a link down below. The person uh, that sells these on eBay um, has them in various sizes. And so what I'm thinking about doing is getting a smaller strap kind of going around the can. Uh, that way it would hold the can on. Um, the other thing I was thinking about is putting a strap here and a strap here and kind of holding the can that way. I'm not sure yet. The other option, uh, honestly, is just some rope. Uh, rope, I think, would be kind of period correct, and that would look good. The handles there is the same as the handles here, so whatever I do on 
that side I can do on this side. Uh, so that's what I'm kind of thinking about. And honestly, I was really kind of concerned about the small stickers, but now I actually, actually after they're on there, I've been looking at this a little while, and I kind of like that. And so um, let me know what you think. Uh, anyhow, uh, we got her done, and uh, I think kind of a cool little addition. I hope adding these cans uh, kind of gave you some ideas as to what you can or can uh, can bah, try it again. I hope adding these cans uh, to the luggage rack uh, just kind of gives you uh, some ideas, uh, get your gears uh, for the idea brain thing going. And uh, remember, like and subscribe. Most of all, be blessed and have a wonderful day.